not that I don't want you here Yeah, yeah It's something about the way you stare into my eyes I know that I don't make me Gemini's Hey, 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 welcome back to the Goddess Palace Padilla K, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Mercury, Venus, North Node. We're going to go ahead and get into it for August 2020. Thank you guys for growing the family. Thank you guys like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications so you'll be notified of my videos. And we're going to get into it. We're going to see what's going on for my Kathy babies, all right? We're going to pull a card from the angel messages. We're going to see what's going on with your money. We're going to see what's going on with you and your boo, all right? Gemini's collectively thank you August 2020. What are the messages August 2020? Thank you. What are the messages August 2020? The star card. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. I feel like this. you guys can be dealing with Aquarius. Okay, this can also be you balancing out a situation. This is also you going towards your wishes or you seeing your wishes come true. This is also you... Um, like, realizing that things had to end the way that it needed to here. I feel like if you guys are leaving situations, um, it's a need to. Or this is, like, the star card is, like, Ludus is opening up because you guys have left situations or left things behind. This is also your intuition as well. So, I'm also going to pay attention to your intuition. Pay attention to what is being guided towards you here as well. What's coming towards you. Gemini's collectively sun moon rising. Thank you. What are the messages? Sun moon rising. Sun moon rising collectively. Thank you. Money. What are the messages? Money for my Gemini's August 2020. Thank you. What are the messages? Gemini's August 2020. Thank you. What are the messages? August 2020. Thank you. All right, so the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands, okay? So during August, I feel like there's a need for you guys to focus or there's a need for you guys to look at what you want to focus on, your passions, your interests, what you want to build a foundation on, okay? I feel like there's also a need for you to cut off certain things, cut off people, okay? The star was in reverse, so I feel like um, there might be situations when it comes to money here that you might see um, keeps happening or there's wishes that are coming true but there's wishes that are not coming true at the same time so you're getting like bittersweet okay i feel like there's a need for you guys to cut things off or notice that there's a need for you to cut certain things on off in order for you to be more stable be more successful as well the ten of pentacles reverse there might be some type of corporation here or there might be a loss of money 10 um 100 to ten thousand, or this is a corporation a loss of a job okay being fired here or being demoted is also what I'm getting. It might have been some type of deception when it came to a contract or when it came to some type of communication with five people. Could have been a legal Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could have been between the ages of 24 and 52. Okay? This could be man or masculine or feminine energy. I feel like you guys um, are feeling like this is a betrayal here. I'm also getting a Six of Pentacles versus like a delay or you guys are sick of things not going your way when it comes to money or you're having to you're not seeing the growth you're not seeing the you're not seeing things happen here and i feel like there's a need for you guys to master your emotions or have faith or keep the faith when it comes to something and not be like stuck in your emotions here because this is like woe is me but this is also like illusions here okay i'm also getting you guys can be communicating with people that are not really seeing you for who you are all right i'm also getting there's a need for you guys to uh make logical decisions here you guys can be not wanting to put time and energy in the contract here. Or you guys can be feeling stuck, bound to a contract, a situation here. And you guys are trying to get out, but you guys are don't want you guys don't want to burn any bridges. You guys don't want to be spiteful. Okay. I'm also getting uh, you guys are needing. It's a need for you guys to walk away from something if you guys are feeling stuck, bound, or drained. Or some of you guys, this is like communication. People around you, family, friends that you get money with. The moon reverse. The six of cups reverse. Okay. There's some type of secret. Secrets are being exposed here, okay? You guys can be fearful of, of secrets being exposed with Six of Cups of Verse. This is like childhood, 
okay? I'm also getting, there's like, uh, secrets when it comes to, this could be sex, this could be drugs as well, when it comes to how you make your money, or this could be the connections here as well. The Six of Cups reverse, and it's like something is keep, you're having to re relive something, or something keeps reoccurring here when it comes to your finances here. I'm also getting this is something from the past. This can be something from the past that you're not wanting to let anybody know when it comes to your money. Or this can be situations here. Because I feel like you're it's like something is haunting you as well, Gemini. But I feel like you guys are needing to walk away from something. Alright. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. You and your boo, Gemini, collectively, you and your boo. You and your boo. You and your boo, Gemini, collectively, thank you. What are the messages? You and your boo, thank you. What are the messages? Okay, I'm going to take those because those are just fell. Let's see. So I'm getting like the ball has dropped or you're waiting for, like something, something is about to shift here. What's going on, Gemini? All right. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, the Five of Swords, conflict. So, like I said, there's a lot of conflict around you. You guys are involved in conflict. This can be gossip. This can be, like, um, like BS. This does, like, it's, like, lies. Like, I don't know if you're lying on people, but it's, like, you're just involved with, like, drama. It's, like, childish. I don't know who that is for, okay? Or it's, like, this relationship, this situation is childish, Okay? You guys can be dealing with a Leo, could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Strength card, you're trying to move forward in a situation. I feel like you're trying to have the courage to um, move forward when you're realizing, like, someone, it's like someone doesn't want this love offer here. Someone's denying love here, okay? I feel like someone may have given some type of small offer of, like, a date, or this can be, like, um, a movie, this can be dinner, this can be, like, starting over, or giving their cup of love here, expressing how they feel. But I feel like Gemini, you guys may not be wanting to deal with it, or someone may not be wanting to deal with your offer here. I definitely feel like um, this can be two different men, two different women here that you guys are involved with. But I definitely feel like the King of Wands, the Virgin, this is someone that's very passionate here, someone that knows which way they want to go, okay? And I feel like this other person, they're very communicative, they're able to communicate. But, but when it's reversed, I feel like you're not, you're either, you either cut off two women, two men, or they cut you off, or you're not wanting to put time and energy or communication into this person here because they're not really being a king, they're not really being a queen here, okay? The five of wands reverse, I definitely feel like there's conflict that you guys are removing yourself away from, or it's like you guys are telling someone, like, you don't want to be around them because all they deal with is drama or all they bring is drama here. I definitely feel like you're trying to build something on your own or you're trying to have growth. Um, you're trying to give and receive with someone else here. You're trying to move away from something here. So I feel like you're trying to give and receive. You're trying to focus on building your finances here. You could also be focused on moving away, walking into something new. Even though you might be feeling imbalanced here or you know that in order for you to move on, like, you might be feeling imbalanced, Gemini, because you know that you need to be honest with yourself, okay? The Ace of Pentacles, the Virgin, it's like something isn't coming in here. Yeah, it's something isn't coming in when it comes to love. It's like a new opportunity because of your thought process here, or you could be, like, not really telling your telling the truth, being honest about what you feel, okay? There might be some type of changes, breakdowns, a breakup, a separation of a home. This can be of a marriage, okay? This can be of some type of like establishment as well like with finances as well but i feel like someone feels imbalanced within a situation someone wants to walk away someone doesn't feel like they're giving someone doesn't feel like they're getting what they deserve here either you or somebody else i'm also getting someone also feels like there are like there's already two people involved in the situation here so it's like someone's like no just pick don't pick me pick the other person all right so that's what i'm getting Peace, love, and light. I show you guys. Let me know how your August goes.